Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT BOCES, and in this video, I'd like to show you a new integration inside of Schoology, or at least one that's new to me, and that is the integration with Edpuzzle. Now, coming right out the gate with a, uh, a disclaimer, first off, this integration does have to be set up by your system administrator. P.S. System admins, if you're looking for how to set this up, we're going to make another video here in a few minutes uh, showing how we set it up for our teachers. So check out the next video, hopefully in sequence um, or search it out. Uh, it also requires the paid enterprise version of Schoology and the paid version of Edpuzzle, at least as far as I know. But with that being said, let's get into the magic that is the Edpuzzle integration inside of Schoology. Now, if you are not familiar with Edpuzzle, uh, please feel free. I'm going to throw a video link down in the video notes area um, it, it, to check out basically a how-to that we created on Edpuzzle. Uh, but it's a website where you can upload videos or import videos and make the video watching process more interactive for the viewer. The video is going to stop uh, at at points where you decide and elicit some sort of a response from the viewer, whether it be answer a question, input a thought, just give them a prompt to think about, but again, makes that process more interactive. Now, if you are already using Edpuzzle, you know how the process works and the integration isn't really gonna be like earth shattering. It just streamlines the process, I think, a lot for the teacher. Uh, it doesn't really change much for the student. But if you know with Edpuzzle, you go to Edpuzzle and you make your video, right? You go to like my content over here and then you add content, you get a video, you put all the stops in and then you tell it to assign to a course uh, and you pick one of your courses to assign it to, maybe this one, I can go down and prevent skipping or turn on closed captions. Then I tell it to assign it and then I click over here, I say share assignment, I grab the link or the embed code, I go back to my Schoology course, I add it as a link and then my students click on the link and they follow it, so that was kind of cool. Uh, and then I could go back to Edpuzzle afterwards and check on their progress and the results of their questions and that's, Cool, but it's a lot of like skipping around for the teacher between Schoology and Edpuzzle back and forth. Well, the integration inside of Schoology really helps to bring it all together so that the only thing you really need to do and in Edpuzzle's website anymore is create the content or uh, copy a pre-existing one, right? Because once you have your information here, right? If you look inside your course, first you'll notice on the left-hand side, there's a little uh, blurb down here for Edpuzzle. Don't be lulled into that one. That is where you will be able to track your student progress and results later, ho, ho, ho. But to get the videos into your course, right? It's under add materials. You'll notice it's on the right-hand side. You may already have the right-hand side here if you have other LTIs in place, but if not, whew, it's there. Uh, and I click on Edpuzzle. The first time I do that, it may prompt you to log in with your Edpuzzle account and then poof, here's all the stuff, right? I got my folders. I have all the different videos that I've made, the, excuse me, the Edpuzzle tasks. Um, so they're all here. And you may be saying, great, how do I assign it? Where's the assign button? Well, I do have to click the little eyeball that's labeled as watch. And that allows me to preview it, make sure it's the one that I want. And you'll notice when I down uh, scroll down a little bit, there's a button to assign. And here's the magical part, right? You don't have to set up courses in Edpuzzle anymore. Uh, beforehand, you had to do that and assign it. When I hit assign, especially if it's the first time, it's going to create a course in Edpuzzle that's the same as your Schoology course name. So it groups that together uh, for you. So that's kind of a nice deal. Again, I can prevent skipping or turn on closed captions. And I hit assign and doo -doo 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 -doo, magic, poof, it's there at the bottom of your course. It shows up as an external tool. Uh, your students would click on it, and because I'm logged in as a teacher, it's gonna look a little bit different, but poof, right there, it's going to play the video and they'll be able to interact with it in an embedded fashion. That's awesome. Again, you as the teacher, you can click on Edpuzzle on the left-hand side, and that's gonna show uh, the results of any videos that you have assigned to this course just like it would if you went to the Edpuzzle website. But again, this integration really streamlining the process for teachers. All you have to do is go to Edpuzzle to create the content and then everything can be done 
right inside your Schoology course. I'm totally pumped about this. I can't wait to see how this uh, helps out our teachers and lets them be a little bit more efficient in the course building. So cool. If you have any questions about this integration, Edpuzzle, or anything else EdTech related, by all means, please feel free to drop me an email at rbray at btboces.org. Uh, you're more than welcome to subscribe to this channel to get notifications and updates when new videos are posted. And as always, thank you for watching.